I used to be my cousin's jiving partner. My cousin was a few years older than me, and that's how I really got into the music because we didn't have a record player, but she had and went. It was and it was. I think it was the first time I saw actually saw a proper drum. You know, how some people like motorbikes. I just loved the look of it. I remember the first time we played at Newcastle City Hall, a supporting. But I mean, that was in those days when you were when we were young. That was the ultimate. I remember the first time we played there being absolutely overwhelmed. Opening up for the Kinks at the Carnegie Hall in New York, the first American show we ever did. That was fantastic. Every night, you know, as Oscar Wilde said, the nightly miracle. Every time the Dr. Spotlight comes on, you know, it's the adrenaline. The first really big festival we ever did, where they expected 20,000 people, they got 120,000 people. And just seeing people as far as they are to see. And I froze, I just froze. And I just had to do it. And once we got up there, we just did what we did. In the early days, I just was attracted to the idea of it. I was never very sporty. And I, and I wasn't particularly academic, but I just liked the whole thing about putting shows on, being involved, you know. I liked it, and I didn't just like the playing, I liked everything that went with it. The mechanics, the getting the gigs, making the gear look better, improving what you're doing. You know, I, I, all of it, I was, I was uh, enthusiastic about. So that was the first bit. And then once you start doing it and seeing other people, um, seeing other groups and other performers, are a bit, you learn all the time and you want to get better. And it wasn't a cho- it wasn't a decision to do this. It's sort of I know it's a it's a cliche, but people say it picks you. It sort of does. I've never wanted to do anything else, and the and the other things that have come along because I've been involved in music have always been things that have interested me anyway. So I can't honestly say there's anything. I mean, well, the only the only one thing that I, I think I probably would have enjoyed would have been doing a degree at some point. I never had any formal education past you know uh, sixteen. At one point, we were a really heavy group, a heavy bluesy group, you know, and we had, it was me and Rod, Richard Singer, who had two great guitar players, two great solo guitar players playing together, which was a bit like, it was unusual, you know, in those days to have two, not twin guitarists, but two great front men, you know, front guitar players. And so everybody would dance to the other groups and would watch us. All the musos would watch, because we're always one step ahead of the game, you know. So um, it, was a, it, it wasn't an overnight thing at all. So I think that's that's what it's the most important thing. It's not it's not like um it's not something specific, it's an attitude. Being able to 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 um adapt yourself to suit and, and be prepared to say, Well that didn't work, I'll try something different.